Ah yes, itch.io, the poor man's version of Steam, I think. A place where anyone can upload any game of any kind without having to pay a hundred dollars. What could possibly go wrong? Ow! With dozens, if not hundreds of games uploaded to itch.io every day, there are bound to be games of different types, such as platformers, arcade games, shoot 'em ups, beat 'em ups, first person shooters, and rage games. Games that are hard as nails and tough as a dragon skin. The only thing rage games want to do is make anyone who plays the game so angry that they want to throw their controllers and break the systems that they are playing on. I think. And today, we're going to be finding the hardest game on itch.io. So grab a snack and hide any breakable objects in the room. Because today, I'm playing some hard as nails games. The first game I'm going to play is called Hardest Game Ever. Let's see if it is the hardest game ever. So you jump over squares, that's it. What is this? A game of jump rope? And I already died. I don't know how to increase your score. The instructions don't tell you how to play the game. And diving into the game's code doesn't help either. So this game isn't hard, it's just plain impossible. A troll game to be specific. But enough critiquing the game, it's time to move on. So this game is called The Hardest Game Ever. But is it the hardest game ever? Well, no it isn't. The game is like the world's hardest game, or one of my own games, Ghost in the Ghost Beta. This game is extremely easy. Also, the music is just among us. And as sad as it may seem, this is not the world's hardest game. The next game I'm going to The next game I'm going to play is called The Hardest Game Ever. So you move a cube and oh I'm dead. Dead, 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 dead. I think this game is impossible to jump. Oh! So it is possible to jump around the cube. After some trial and error, I managed to figure out what to do and I beat the game. Nice. Also, this game's trailer is the worst trailer I've ever seen. You thought the original Sonic movie trailer was horrible? Wait till you see this. Проходите мою собственную игру The Hardest Game Ever. The next game we're gonna play is a game with a title that goes on forever. It showed up when I searched the hardest game ever, so let's play it! So it's like golf, but you land on the green square. The levels are just... Well, I can't even explain what the levels are. This game is extremely easy. I take that back. It's hard because it's a puzzle game. I don't know why it showed up when I searched the hardest game ever, but it's not rage hard like the other games. Now that the game inside the game is out the way, it's time to move on to the next game. This game is called The World's Hardest Game. Again, as the description states, it's a remake of The World's Hardest Game. But don't be fooled by the title of the game, as The World's Hardest Game, again, is not The World's Hardest Game. Sure, I died a bunch of times, but after I knew what to do, I just breezed through the game like it was nothing. Spoiler alert, I collected a bunch of yellow circles. And now on to the next game. Unfair Square, the hardest game. Unfair Square is the hardest game ever made for hardcoded gamer. Is it though? Let's find out. So you control a square and get it to a flag. That can't be hard. Well, what if we add a heck ton of spikes, some spinning lightsabers that are a pain to dodge, and a blade, and probably some other stuff since I couldn't beat level 2. But that's only since I played each game for around 5 minutes. Also, they give you checkpoints. And lives. Which makes the game easier to play. So the game line. It's hard, but it's not the hardest game ever made. And it's on Android as well. So if you want something hard to play on the go, and you have an Android device, then that's the game for you. And now, the game you've probably been waiting for, Stick With It. I'm sure most of you know what Stick With It is. But for those that don't, Stick With It is a game where your goal is to get a blob to the end of the game. It seems easy, but the controls are extremely hard to master. And even if you do, you'll most likely make a mistake and fall down all the way back to the beginning. 
and it's also on mobile. But be warned, the mobile version is much worse than the PC version. Next up is Hard Platformer Ultimate. The first thing that comes up when you start the game is to log in with Game Jolt Token with a sign-in page. Of course, I can just press Guest. And after that, you get a bunch of UI junk, which is weird. And after some trial and error, I can finally play the game. And it's a hardcore platformer. I actually made it to the last world before I decided to quit the game. Because as I said earlier, I played each game for 5 minutes before I went on to the next game. And it's time to move on to the final game. Now be warned, this game is extremely hard. It's so hard that it took me many months to beat. And worst of all, it's a game I created. To Mount Olympus. To Mount Olympus is a game about a brick ball that wants to go to space. Since you're a brick ball, you have to roll. Which means even if you stop moving him, he still moves. And other physics stuff. The controls are awkward and hard to master. There are four levels. Ground, sky, space, and heaven. And good luck beating space and heaven, since they are extremely hard. And with heaven, if you fall down, most likely you will go all the way back to the ground level, aka the first stage. It takes at least one minute to beat each level. And if you do manage to beat the game by going to Mount Olympus, then you win. And trust me, you're gonna lose your sanity fast while playing this game. There's a narrator who says some helpful things along the way. Welcome to Ancient Greece. You get to Mount Olympus. Overall, to Mount Olympus is the hardest game I've ever played. And I'm not saying that because I made the game, and I'm not trying to promote it either. It's extremely hard. And fun fact, this was the first game I've ever uploaded to itch.io and one of the first games I've made overall. And that wraps it up! If you like this video, then make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell to be notified for when I release another video. Also, if you want to play any of these games yourself, then click the links in the description below. And make sure to give some support to all of the devs who made those games. And as always, thanks for watching!